In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a fillable form in Microsoft Office Word. There are instances you may want to send forms to people to fill and return it back to you as a business owner. But you don't want those various users to be able to edit any part of your form except where they are supposed to fill. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a fillable form and also protect it. Let me show you what we'll get at the end of creating this form. So users of this form will have opportunity to drop down and choose from a list. They will be able to fill in their names just by simply typing in a text. They can also enter their contact details in here and they also have the opportunity to choose from options by clicking on check boxes and then they can also pick a date using this form. So all the fields you see in here, users will be able to change them except the labels. So for instance, personal details in here, they won't be able to change it because the insertion point cannot go there simply because the form is locked. And I'll show you how to do all this in this tutorial. So if you want to make this beautiful fillable form using Microsoft Word, keep watching. Hello guys. This is Online Office Teacher, where I help you manage your data and information through online video just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's get started. I have my form right here and I will leave a link to this form in the description down below so that you can download it, that is if you want to follow along. So to be able to make this form a fillable form, I will have to enable a new tab here that will help me do that. And that very tab is the developer tab. So to enable it, I'll go to file, click on options, and then go to customize ribbon. Then under this pane, I choose developer. You see that all the tabs are selected except developer. So I click on it and click on OK. It will appear right here. And this is the tab we are going to use to create our fillable form. And we are only going to use two groups in this tab. We'll use the controls group and then the protect group. After creating our form, I'll use the protect group to restrict users from editing the rest of the sections on my form. They can only fill where they are supposed to fill. So these are the various commands. I'm going to use to create my fillable form. I'm not going to explain all of them. I'll explain as and when I'm going to use a particular command. So the first field I want to work on is position apply for. So in here, I need a drop down so that the applicant will drop down a list, then choose from the list the particular position he's applying for and choose from the list the particular position they are applying for. And there are two types of lists I can actually insert in here. There is the combo box content control and then the drop down list content control. With the drop down list content control, the applicant can only choose whatever value I've kept in here. He cannot add whatever he wants to add if he cannot find it there. However, with the combo box content control, if say an applicant drop down the list but cannot find the particular job portfolio he is looking for, he can actually key in the job portfolio he is looking for. So I don't want to give them the opportunity to enter their own job portfolios. So I'll use the drop down list content control. I click on it. However, you make sure that your insertion point is in the particular field you want to add the control. So I've inserted the list but I won't be able to do anything unless I add the various options. So to do that, I'll go to properties. Then in here, you can give the content control a title, but I don't want to do that. I'll only come down here to add the various options I have for my applicants. So I'll click on add then I enter marketing manager. So as and when I type the display name, the value is also entered automatically. So I click on OK. I add the second job opportunity. C 
sales agent okay and finally the third one i need a chef then click on okay okay so now the applicant will be able to choose from this list and if what he's looking for is not here he cannot actually edit it you see that next i'll go down to personal details and the surname i provide space then i insert a text field where they can enter their names now there are two text content controls i can actually add one is rich text content control and the other one is just plain text content control with the rich text content control users of my form will be able to customize the text field by changing font colors and even font so in order not to give them that opportunity i will simply use the plain text content control so i click on it and it is inserted right there you can actually go to properties to do whatever settings you want to do but i think everything is perfect i will leave everything as default so i click on ok i do the same thing for giving names provide space plain text so users can actually click in here to add their names okay perfect now I'll do the same thing for preferred names provide space plain text that is it so it's as simple as that just click there and choose the plain text content control so the rest of them i'll do them pretty quick and get back to you Okay, I fill out all the fields that require plain text content control and you see that I've left here blank and in here and some other fields simply because I want to use different content controls for them year completed I want to give the applicant the opportunity to choose the year he has completed and not just type it in so I click in here then I go to date picker content control click on it and they can just click on the arrow to choose the particular date they want to pick now it is selected i can go back to properties under date picker properties i choose the date format i want so i like this then i click on ok so i'll do the same thing in here go to date picker it is selected i go to properties and i choose sorry i choose this okay so i'll do the same thing for these two cells and also the same thing for this cell because they are all talking about dates i will do it pretty quick okay i'll fill all the portions okay i have one last field in here that requires date which date will you be available to start so that one too i'll just insert then i'll go to properties choose this date format okay now finally, I will talk about checkboxes. So these are not checkboxes. So what I need to do is just take them off. Delete. Delete. So I click in here. Just make sure you have one space provided. Then I go to checkbox content control. Click on it. And it is right there. It is still selected you can go to properties to do some other settings you want usually i like changing the checkbox properties so what do you want to see when a particular box is checked so this is a symbol you can change it from here but all these symbols here look weird so i'll leave it as it is and checked symbol will be this so i click on ok so i'll do the same thing in here just click after the no provide space then choose checkbox content control sorry this should have been the first one i worked on i can still do them it doesn't matter so i click here just one space checkbox checkbox 
And then finally down here, remove it. Checkbox. Remove this checkbox. And finally, sorry, checkbox. You see that most of the fields have meaning to widen up my cells. And as a result, I'm getting two pages instead of one for my form. It doesn't really matter. When people begin to fill out this form, I might end up getting even three pages, depending upon the kind of information they want to type in. So I'm done with all the fields. One last thing I need to do is protect my form so that user will not be able to edit the text in here except the fields they are supposed to fill. So for instance, if I click after qualification here, I can still add something. Let me remove it. Then I go to the protect group, click on restrict editing. It will open this restrict editing pane at the right hand side. Then I go to the second option, editing restrictions. Check the box up. Then I drop down the arrow, filling in forms. So I click it and I say yes, start enforcing protection. Now I choose a password which is optional. But if I make it optional and don't enter any password at the end, users can stop the enforcing protection and try to edit the content in here. So I'll provide a password. So I'll re-enter password to confirm. Then I click on OK. Now, users will not be able to edit here because the insertion point will not even go there for them to enter whatever they want to enter there for no reason. They can only edit in here by clicking there so i can just pick a date here and that's it you see that i can also check a box and that's it all right so i can exit out of here and my form is set i now have a complete fillable form i can send this to applicants they fill it and send back to me or i can even put it on my website that is if i have one so that they can go there, download it, fill it, and send it back through their website. So this is how we create a fillable form in Microsoft Office Word. I hope you found value. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, and also enable the notification bell so that each time I post a new video just like this one on this channel, you'll be the first to know. Keep watching, and we will talk soon.